When you're just starting out in coin magic, the book that everyone's going to recommend to you is Bobo's Modern Coin Magic. Now, first of all, you want to make sure you're getting the new modern coin magic and not the older version. But second of all, this book is not the best place to start, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Let's dive in. Greetings, thanks for stopping by again. And this time I wanted to cover some beginning resources for starting out in coin magic. So last time we covered what coins you should be using and all the different reasons and decisions you might make with that. So today, Bobo's Modern Coin Magic, the Bible of coin magic. But is it? That always irritates me when people call it the Bible of coin magic. Now this is a book you're going to want to get, and you'll need to get, but uh, as far as learning and progressing as quickly as you can, I don't think it's the best place to start. Now I started with Bobo's, and thousands of people have started with this book, but nowadays there's been so many videos covering the basics of palming and the fundamental techniques you're going to need. So, I'm speaking more from the point of view as if I were talking to a younger version of myself, giving myself advice on a better way to start after all I've learned these years. So just keep that in mind. So why is this not the Bible of coin magic? Well, let's look at what Bobo himself writes in the beginning. You always want to read the preface or introductions to books to see what the author themselves writes about the material you're about to absorb. And in the beginning he says, it will at once be apparent that this book is no encyclopedia of coin magic. In the countless books and magical journals I've sifted through and researched, there are coin puzzles, recreations galore. There are dozens of coin pinches, grips, palms, vanishes, changes, equipments, and even a few weird finger contortions for which any use would be hard to find. There are pieces of apparatus without end for catching coins, holding coins, vanishing coins, dropping coins, or reproducing vanished coins, most of them with little use today except as museum pieces. And in another part he writes, Of course not all the material in this book is new. It is not intended to be. My purpose has been to present to the fraternity a complete treatise on the sleight of hand coin conjuring and to cover this important segment of the subject in all its practical aspects. So he's telling us he picked and choose out of the coin magic that was available and already published and put his, his collection here. And it is a great collection, an enormous book, but it's not a complete picture of all the coin magic that was out there in 1952. So as Bobo already stated, there's some things that are left out. And as Curtis Cam points out in his book, uh, The Pocket Book, which is another good little book to start with before you even begin coin magic. Uh, it talks about coins, it talks about bobos, expert coin magic, and coin magic. And it's a great place to start before you start, so to speak. But Curtis Cam points out, a list of important moves that are not in Bobo's that were already published at the time. The Demange Change, which is one of my favorite moves, uh, use it all the time. The Spider Vanish, Deep Back Clip, The Muscle Pass, The Leipzig Slow Motion Vanish, Ramsey Vanish, Ramsey Subtlety, Gypsy Switch, The Frickle Thumb Grip, which is right here, Molini Subtlety, the one-handed turnover switch, JW grip, and JC palm, or vertical thumb palm, angle palm, or Lamont grip. So those are just some of the things that are not included in Bobo's. But like I said, it's a book you're, gonna, you're going to need and you'll want to get. But if I were to go back in time and tell myself where to begin, it would be with video. There are a lot of options out there, and I don't own them all, so I can't speak about the specifics of 
each one. But the main reason I recommend video is for learning the fundamentals, the palms, switches, vanishing techniques, and how they should look in real time in someone's hands. Now one place Bobo's fall short is in the first couple of chapters. Not only are their illustrations unclear at times, but the descriptions themselves are not always well written and easy to understand. Coin magic is hard. Honestly, I think we all know that. There's just a steep learning curve and it's a better idea to get started with learning from video where you can see correct finger placement and how the hand should actually look in real time. Now, I personally recommend uh, David Roth's DVD set, uh, Expert Coin Magic Made Easy. It's three DVDs, covers all your palms, switches, shuttle pass, uh, click passes, and you're getting some of Roth's material on here, routines, where you can start to use those techniques in a context. And like I mentioned before, there are now a lot of video resources out there to learn the fundamentals. And most of them came out after my time, so I can't speak on specifics of each one, but I will always recommend Eric Jones' material. Uh, he's not only a great teacher, but he has great style and finesse. And that's something that would only help you if that rubbed off on you. Now, one of the downsides of learning from video is you, you will inevitably pick up some of the mannerisms from the person you're watching. You know, as you're watching so closely their hands, how they hold coins, you're going to tend to not just learn the move, but learn the way they do the move. But um, this isn't always a bad thing. As you're starting out, it's okay to emulate someone who's a master. You'll pick up subtleties that would have taken you years to develop on your own. And then as you continue to grow, you will let go of that imitation as you find your own style and your own natural way of moving. So you cannot go wrong with David Roth's material. He's an absolute master at what he does and he's an excellent teacher. There's another set of videos from David Roth called The Ultimate Coin Magic Collection. There's four discs and this is mainly Roth's routines and there is some new techniques that are not in the first set and all of these together I think they were filmed all at once and the purpose was to cover all of his material in Expert Coin Magic the book but there's material on here that is not in the book and the book has material that is not on the video so down the road you will want to get the book if anything for completeness to have all of his material but I highly recommend this set as you get a better grasp of the fundamentals and want to get into the more elaborate routines. So after spending time with video and learning the fundamentals, then go back to Bobo's. I got more from Bobo's five or 10 years after I bought it. Once I had a, a firm grasp of all of coin magic and what good coin magic should look like, I was able to absorb more and get more out of it. I still refer back to Bobo's and I, I might find one or two little things that I skipped all those years ago, or maybe I wasn't ready for at the time. So can you start with Bobo's and learn coin magic? Yes. Will it be frustrating and time consuming? Yes. But coin magic in general is time consuming and frustrating. So the best way to gain more confidence and progress more quickly is to get the basics down with video where you can really examine in real time what things should look like. And then go back when you have the tools you need, go back and start building with those tools because video is just a better resource. But Bobo's is a great book and there's a ton of stuff in here that you'll go back to for years and years. So thank you guys for joining me again. Tried to make a little bit of a shorter video. The last one got kind of long on me. Uh, 
I wanted to announce, not officially yet, but I'm going to be doing a giveaway. This is a first edition copy of Coin Magic by Richard Kaufman. Uh, there'll be more details to come, and I think I found out a way to get people to enter in an automatic way where I'm not counting emails or comments or something. So I think I've got that figured out. It's going to be automatic. So then I can do a raffle kind of a thing. But uh, I'll make an official video kind of announcement on this in the next week or so. Also, if you are on Instagram, go look for me at Rick Holcomb. I've got weird ideas, quick ideas, some stuff that's in development maybe. And I'm going to put an announcement over there too to get you know as many people involved in this contest as possible. So thank you for stopping by again. And uh, please leave a comment, subscribe if you'd like, share the video, tell people about the contest, and I'll see you next time.